How to fix Windows 10 volume is too low. First open Start and type Device Manager. Click on Device Manager. Expand sound, video and game controllers. Right click your audio device. Select update driver. Select search automatically for updated driver software. Wait for your audio drivers to be updated. Now your drivers should be updated. If that didn't work click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Right click your audio device and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select High Definition Audio Device. Press Next. Press Yes. Now close the window and restart. First open start and click on the configuration icon. Click on system. Click on sound. Select your audio device. Press troubleshoot. Select speakers or headphones. Press next and wait for your audio to be repaired. Open start and type control panel. Open your control panel. Click on hardware and sound. Click on sound. Select your audio device. Right click it and select properties. Go to the enhancements tab. Select disable all enhancements. Press apply and then OK. Select your audio device. Right click it and select properties. Go to the advanced tab. Now change the bit rate to CD or DVD quality or change it until you start hearing sound. Press apply and then OK.
Right click your audio device. Select uninstall device. Press uninstall. Now close the window and restart. Now your drivers should be installed. First open the link that you'll find in the description of this video. Click on Download Tool now. Download the tool and run it. Press Yes. Press Accept. Press Next. Press Accept. Leave it as it is, if you want to keep all your files and programs. Press Install. Wait for the update to be installed. If that didn't work, open start and type recovery options. Open recovery options. Go to advanced startup and click on restart now. Press System Restore. Select your account. Press Next. Select your latest restore point. Press Next. 
Press Finish. Press Yes. Now wait for your PC to be restored. Now your PC should be restored. Press Restart. Now your problem should be fixed.